Has someone ever tried to hustle you into getting a dog or cat, promising they would take care of it? Well, Brian wants a cow really, really bad. He's not promising to take care of it though. Our friends George and Tony have the most amazing farm in Connecticut called Arethusa. They make the best ice cream I've ever had, as well as many other things, including these donuts that are giving me life. We're gonna take a tour, meet some cows, have a lick or two of ice cream, and we'll see if I'm convinced or not. Let's get started. Okay, I'm coming into the creamery off hours right now because it gets like a Disneyland theme ride hopping in here. It's crazy, so I'm very excited. Let's get some ice cream. I wanna get a scoop of the peach ice cream on a waffle cone. So, be honest, how often have you seen me here? Uh, quite a bit recently, <laughs> without a doubt. Um, As we just moved over, yes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite seasonal flavors. They switch things out pretty regularly, so you kind of have to come often <laughs> to get the full taste of the season. Before, my other favorite was the cherry shortbread. That was amazing. Thank you very much. Not a problem, I hope you enjoy it. Mm. It's literally like just pure peaches and cream, it's so delicious. And now we're gonna go to the farm and see the whole operation. This is like a fully enclosed system where they make everything, it's amazing. Okay, so we made a quick stop at the coffee shop there. That's a whole other video. They have the best crullers or crullers I've ever had in my life. And guess who's driving? Brian's driving. <laughs> Just made it to the show barn. This is open to the public like one day a week. So you can take a look at all the beautiful cows and it's gonna be the starting point for our tour. So let's go inside. Kind of crazy, what? They're not wind chimes, they're medals for the cows. They go travel across the countries to various shows and it's like the whole breeding program for getting the best cows with the best milk. And these cows are living their best life. We're gonna see these barns now and they're nicer than anybody's house I've ever met. So we're in the barn now. It's pretty loud because the cooling fans were on. It's a hot day, but it's nice and, nice and cool in here actually. And this over here is one of the cows she is a Jersey, so they have a really high butter fat content in their milk, and pretty cute. Okay, so we just left the show barn, and now we're in the farm proper. It is so pretty here, and the first stop is the chicken coop. If you check out this video on some of my new animal acquisitions, you will have seen that we tried the chicken thing out, and my dream coop has not yet been built. Let's take a look at this one, though, because there are several varieties of chickens that I covet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sneak in here. He said it was okay though, not breaking the rules. Um, hey, just hanging out with some chickens. She might be my favorite. Look at that cutie. She didn't sign a release, so to blur her out. So I have a question, would you like to come live with me? Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over all this clucking. Hello. We're gonna go see if we can find the baby cows now. They are pretty cute and I'm obsessed. <laughs> that really tickles. Ramona, is that you? <laughs> oh, you're an ageless beauty. So cows look, will like naturally have a shocked look on their face, which I call Ramona eyes, so. <laughs> If you see them like bulging out eyes at me, it's not because I haven't been invited here. This is how they look. Now, can I just show you what this cow's view is of all day? Let's take a look. We found the babies. Look at these cuties. Can I take it home? <laughs> oh man, they're so soft. Yeah, you're a sweetie. You're gonna make some delicious ice cream. It's a hot day, so the cows are basically inside until the afternoon, like while the midday sun is on them, with fans on them. These are uh, two, two little baby cows, as you can tell. I think I would name them Lola and Bernice, but that's not how it works. Because for litters, you name them with the same first letter, like Lola and Leanne. Hi. Oh my god. That's Salt Lake, by the way. Hey. <laughs> Their tongues are so ticklish. 
Hi. Hello. Okay. okay. That barn was a major. Those cows are also cute. And those jerseys have like such sweet little faces. I think they all liked me. And they must be very cow friendly. <laughs> all right, well, I had no idea those cows were gonna be so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want that cow now, I'm gonna be honest. Anyways, I really enjoyed this tour. I hope you did too. It's so interesting seeing how food is made and like especially when it's made the right way where the animals are treated well, everything is fresh. The biggest thing about cooking is having great ingredients. If you missed my, I moved to Connecticut, what's going on, there's a new kitchen happening, click over here and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>